yeah, Magic Mike Pro Team, BendoskyPowerFishing.com. Of course, check it out. Plus, we gave a ton away. We rocked it tonight. Check it out. Nick, carping it up. First carp, right? First carp. Oh, yeah, big boy, too, huh? Wow, nailed him. Good job, brother. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to catch a ton of fish night fishing and also with bobbers. So, let's get into it. Alright, as I mentioned, this video is all about fishing with bobbers, night fishing for catfish, white bass, oh, perch, bluegill. We caught a lot of different fish um, on this trip and super excited uh, that we had, in this video, we had Magic Mike. He's on the pro team. You guys know him. We had Nick. Um, he's on the pro team as well. And then we had Jazzy. And um, we are looking at potentially uh, launching this season a, a teenage um, pro team. Yeah, so we're looking into it. Obviously, it's not fully developed yet. It does it depend on when you see this video. So the, the idea isn't fully fleshed out, but we are moving in that direction as, uh, as the weather has warmed up. So, uh, real quick though, you guys know me. I am Josh Bendoski, founder of BendoskiPowerFishing.com and home of the Bendoski Power Fishing subscription box where we put all the different stuff that you see us using in our videos to catch thousands of fish in this box. New stuff comes every single month, $16.99 and about a $30 to $35 value. New stuff every month shipped directly to your door. So, I highly recommend that you try that out. Now, uh, what I used, I'll go, I'll just go over the rods real quick. And then I want to, I want to share the bobber. Um, this other one. I want to share the bobber secrets. Um, and then I'll go into the full rigs uh, because some of you guys out there have seen um, what, what I call the Bendoski Buffet. And in fact, it was actually mentioned in a national magazine, American Outdoor News. Um, and I'll put a link in the description to that magazine and you guys can check that article out. But I will cover it here as well. But just real quick, um, <clears throat> you guys know that I use pretty much Velocity brand rod and reels exclusively. My buddy Jared Johnson signature series six foot six medium light action and then uh the medium action one as well and so these are the rod and reel combos that i like to use um, they're available on the website you can also pm me or um, reach out to me through uh facebook or, or wherever you see this video at um but either way uh so those are the rod and reel combos that i like to use the six foot six rod and reel combos from uh, velocity Okay, so uh, a lot of times you guys will see us fishing off of the bottom with a weight instead of a bobber. We'll use a steel weight instead of a bobber, and uh, that's to, to fish off of the bottom. Now, occasionally the fish aren't really biting off the bottom that much, and so we'll want to find them in the water column. And so a bobber uh, works in a couple of different ways to do that. Now, we happen to be at a shallow uh, part of this lake and so you know this uh, this bobber I had stationary on my line okay um, but this gives me a chance this is this is the Bendoski buffet here and what it is is it's three hooks and sometimes we use a jig you know sometimes I'll use a jig head here you guys have seen that I'm sure if you've seen any of my other videos um, sometimes I'll do a jig sometimes I'll do if I'm if I'm going for trout sometimes I'll do it you know, a hook, a, reg a, bear, a regular hook with um, bait on it, and then a jig with some bait on it. And then on the bottom, maybe if I'm going for trout, it may be some power bait or something like that. And what the, that does is help uh, identify what the fish are biting much quicker. But, um, and I will get, I will go over that in full detail after I go over the disbobber part, because I know there's a lot of you guys out there probably seen some of my videos. And some of that will be um, information you've already gotten. So let me just cover the bobber first and how to use this to identify where the fish are in the water column. So if you see this line that I have, it's probably, uh, it's, a, it's a, about a, I would say maybe a four foot uh, fluorocarbon liter. 
Um, and we were going for catfish, all kinds of fish really, just having some fun. Um, so I used 12 pounds, just in case I got a cat on. I don't want to lose a cat by using really light line. And I know, uh, you know, some of my protein members, they like really light line. Um, and I will have them explain that to you at some point in time when, I'll, when we're out on the, on the water with one of them who does use light line. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> so what this does is I throw this bobber on and it, I can cast out and I've got different bait on here, which I'll go over in a second, but I can cast out and then I've got three pieces of bait or three, three presentations at three points in the water column. Okay, this fluorocarbon leader is probably two feet to the first hook and then the, the hooks are about a foot apart. Um, so that gives me four feet. So now I can be, you know, at several different places in the water column to get an idea of what they're biting uh, or, or where they're biting. Now, now, like I mentioned, this lake was a very shallow lake. Um, we're up in the Rocky Mountains, but this happens to be a very shallow lake. And so I used to use a stationary bobber, but sometimes what you'll want to do um, is use a slip bobber um, and, and a bobber stopper. And that way you can, like if, and I'll do this when we get to one of the deeper lakes, I'll, I'll, I'll make another video where we use a slip bobber and I'll show you exactly how to use it, but um, in the video itself at least. But you put a slip bobber on that maybe you put it so that you can cast, maybe you put it, you know, 10 feet down your line, you put a slip bob or a bobber stopper. And so now when you cast out that bobber, because the slip bobber is going to slide 10 feet up your line or 20 feet or 30 feet. And then you're still going to have your hooks at different spots in the, in the water column. So instead of having your, like this is, you know, the top four feet of the water, this, this specific one, because the bobber's here, the top four feet of the water has the bait in it, right? At different, at different spots. But if I wanted to go, if I, if I wanted to go 10 feet, um, I would use a, a bobber stopper and a slip bobber. Now, for the, for the purposes of this video, that's not how I did it. I just wanted to mention that you, you can do that. So it's a very effective tool to do, um, to, to find out where the fish are in the water column, especially if you don't have a fish finder, if you're shore fishing, which this was a shore fishing video. Um, but anyways, so yeah, that's the setup. Uh, and that's the reason that I, we were using bobbers at this time is because they weren't biting off the bottom like the, a, a lot of times that they will when you're bait fishing. And so it's just another strategy. Um, now, let me go over uh, the Bendowski Buffet real quick and, and just the rest of this rig. Okay, so I use 20 pound braid up here in the Rocky Mountains. Most of the fish that you're going to catch, 20 pound braid is going to be totally fine. If I was going to go on a trip and, and go for pike or something like that, and I will do this, I'll put like 40 pound braid on there, but I generally just stick with 20 pound braid. And then on this one, I did a uni knot to a swivel. And I don't always use swivels. <clears throat> But um, sometimes they're appropriate. It just kind of depends on the situation. This is a this what happens to be a muddy lake that I was at, and so uh, the, the swivel is not going to bother anything. So what I'll do with the Bendowski buffet is I'll put on three different types of bait. I'll do a surgeon's knot up here, and I I believe I have a, a video. I, I just need to make one. I need to make one for sure um, because I'm not 100% sure. And I say on almost one, every one of my videos that I think I have one, but I just need to double check and just make it. Anyway. <clears throat> And then three, on the three hooks, as I mentioned, on the three hooks, I'll put three different items that I think they're going for. So at this lake specifically, I'll do a worm, a, a piece of white bass, and raw chicken. Raw chicken works really, really, really well for uh, catfish. Really good for catfish up in the Rocky Mountains. So what that does is it helps me identify what they're biting very, very, very quickly. Cause I can put three baits on this and we, and we can have two uh, poles. So technically I can have six baits out in the water. I always do night crawlers, but like I said, raw chicken breasts and white bass at this specific lake. But um, if I was up trout fishing and I was using this exact same thing, you guys have seen this, maybe some of my other videos, I'll do a minnow, a night crawler and maybe power bait, right? So I'll have three different baits on there. Um, and that's what the Bendowski buffet is all about is putting you know, a little bit of uh, diversity of bait, and then you can identify what they're biting. So, for example, on a, a recent trip that I went on catfishing, they just happened to be slamming night crawlers. That's just night crawlers were the ticket that on, and we caught a ton of fish too. Um, and on the, on this trip, uh, raw chicken became just 
dynamite. It was just dynamite. And I will say though that you know we identified through the buffet system what they were biting. So on the 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 other trip, uh, I ended up with almost all night crawlers after you know a, a, an hour or two or you know after I caught 20 fish or so. Um, I switched almost to primarily night crawlers. And in this situation, um, and I'll even run some footage, uh, towards the end of the evening, I had switched almost primarily to uh, chicken. So it just kind of really depends what they're biting. And that's the whole point is, is that the buffet system allows you to figure that out much quicker than if you're just to throw out one bait at a time. Okay, so the only the other thing I will say is at night fishing, which this is a, a tips on night fishing, which is really, really important is an indicator and, and i've seen people that use lights i've seen people that use um sometimes they'll do a bobber down here and they can see it getting bit um but i like bells i like these they're cheap little bells and um <clears throat> you know they don't last forever because when you're casting sometimes they get whipped off and you gotta tighten them down and anyways but they're pretty cheap and i like the sound of them and i have seen other bells too um but they're much heavier uh, that are made more specifically for catfishing. I, anytime I'm bait fishing, I always like to have these little bells because that little jingle, then I don't have to be watching my pole as close, you know? And so that's what we did. Um, let me think if there's anything else. Oh, okay. And then, and, and then uh, as it got later and, and the catfish really started coming out, because in the beginning of the day, like I said, we were catching a lot of panfish, white bass, everything like that on this system. Um, but then later uh, in the evening, the catfish started biting off the bottom a lot more. And so we, I switched to, I switched to it on both of them. I just put this bottle on here so you can see how, see the setup of how we had it for the, on the actual day. But, um, and if you've seen my other one, videos, very, very similar to exactly how, I mean, this is how we do it. So that's why we share the tips with you. I put a slip weight of steel or a lead slip weight on the braid, on my 20 pound braid. And then I put on my swivel. And I use a uni knot, uni knot's my favorite knot, um, to hook to a swivel. And that holds the, the slip weight on there. Um, and then I do, like I said, a surgeon's knot, a fluorocarbon leader. And this one had three hooks on it, but then one popped off because of a fish. But um, so, uh, and then I, I snail the first two hooks and then I do a uni knot on the bottom. And I know for sure I've got a uni knot video and I will put it in the description on how to tie these knots and I will get toward uh, getting the surgeon knot one done. So basically the same setup, you just change the way that you are, you know, just instead of a bobber, change to a slip weight um, and, and then fish off the bottom. And that, what this does, I, I should mention why we use a slip weight instead of just tacking a weight on here. And one of my pro team members, super good fisherman, showed me how to do this. Um, but what happens is the fish, especially this one isn't super big. This, uh, I don't know if you can see this steel weight. It's not that big. But um, sometimes I have on a, on a much larger pole, I have a, a real big one. But what it does is it allows the fish to grab the, to grab the bait and, and not feel the weight of that um, that lead weight. They won't feel it in their mouth and spit it out. So it allows them to take the line. This will sit in the rocks. The weight will sit in the rocks. So it'll sit on the sand and it allows you to just really uh, let the fish take it without them knowing that, that they're getting hooked before you're able to hook them. So, so one other thing I wanted to mention real quick about catfish up here where I'm at in the Rocky Mountains is that we generally have two uh, two species here and there's a lot of species too all across the world but uh, where we're at we have channel cats and bullheads generally is about all you're going to find and there's a pretty easy way to tell them apart when, they, when they're a little bit bigger um, you know when in the video I think you might hear me say I wasn't sure which one it was but uh, this is how you can tell um, the channel cats the first way you can tell is that they have a V in their tail that's that's the easiest way to tell, but when they are both small, it is kind of hard to tell, uh, you know, which one's which. And then, um, so you see on the left-hand side here, there's a nice deep V. And the other thing is that channel cat get a lot bigger than average bullhead may be, you know, somewhere between a foot to two feet. Um, so if you're catching catfish that are, you know, 18 inches and stuff like that, those are, those are good catfish. They're, and they're probably bullheads. Um, if you're catching catfish that are like, 
you know, three feet long, um, then you're definitely catching channel cats. Those are the tips that I have for you uh, for night fishing with bobbers and how to catch just a ton of fish and have a ton of fun. And so I highly recommend that you get out there and check it out. Also, one more thing, if you like our videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. That will allow you to get notified when we send out new videos and so that you can catch it up on all the tips that we are sharing, me and the pro team, on how to catch just a ton of fish and have a ton of fun. So, here's the video. All right, guys, this is Mike with the Bedoski Pro Team. Can't wait to get my daughter out here to Utah Lake to catch some big catfish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Bloody butt tell well, that's fishing. All right, Jazzy nailing it up. Little bluegill tonight. Boo, yeah, that's uh, what your second or first? Yes. Boom, bluegill in it. Boo, yeah. Fish This. this fish has like a tumor in its eye. It's absolutely, and he's still alive too. Let me show you. He's still alive. Look at that sideball. Let me grab a hold of it. Uh, never seen a fish look like that before. Look at that. It's like a brain tumor. Oh. Perfectly in the mouth, too. Oh, yeah! Nick's got the first cat! 
you hooked him in the eyeball. See, that's what I was gonna say. Rarely do you hook a carp off of a bait. Look at that fish, though, huh? I bet you this guy's four pounds. Oh yeah, guys, right in the eyeball. Carping it up. Not a bad fight. Check it out, Nick. Carping it up. First carp, right? Big boy too, huh? Wow, nailed him. Good job, brother. Check it out, first cat of the night. Little guy, cute one, but still getting it. Heck yeah, loving it out here. So Good to meet fun. you guys. Hey, here's a nice little Reese of a cat. Bullhead! Boom, baby! Got my chick! 
chicken. All right, guys, look at that bullhead. Nice looking fish. Chicken breast. 